Welcome to Zeiss Reverse Engineering, your software solution for surface reconstruction and tool correction. In this video, I'll show you how to import data, how to edit meshes, and how to align them in Zeiss Reverse Engineering. If you want to try things in ZRE, take a look at the description below. There you'll find links to download a trial version and training data. Let's start Zeiss Reverse Engineering in the Zeiss Quality Suite and create a new project. To import data, simply drag and drop the file into the new project. I'll import the mesh of a small statue. Notice the mesh has some things we need to take care of. Here's some extra scan data that we need to remove. To do that, let's use the search function in the action bar. Simply type remove and select remove islands from mesh. If you look at the action bar now, you can see the path. The function can be found under Edit, Point Clouds and Meshes. In the dialog, you see what you need to do. Select the mesh. Check the toolbar to make sure element selection is active. Then click the mesh. In this case, the default value under Minimum Number of Triangles works well. It means that all meshes with less than 25,000 triangles will be removed. If you want to see the mesh structure, select Show Edges in the toolbar. Click Execute and Close to finish. You may have also noticed that there are some holes in the mesh. To reconstruct the surface, we need a watertight mesh. Which is why ZRE offers a function to fill holes. Again, select the mesh. Under Maximum Distance, set a value for the hole size. 50 mm works well here. Then select Curved. To fill the holes, click Execute and Close. Now that we're done editing the mesh, let's align it. The action bar has a dedicated category. You can choose between various types of alignments. In this case, we'll use the best fit via three planes. Use the mouse or coordinate cube to set a good view to define the first plane, the Z plane. Hold Ctrl and the left mouse button to select an area. In the function dialog, you can reverse the normal or clear the point selection if you made a mistake. Click Apply to move on to the next plane. Define the X plane with Ctrl and the left mouse button then click Apply. And finally, the Y plane. Click Apply and you're done. You can close the function. Now that the mesh is aligned, you can take advantage of the coordinate cube to change the orientation of the mesh. On a side note, you can always use Ctrl-Z to undo steps and Ctrl-Y to redo them. Now that we have a fully closed mesh without unwanted data, we're ready to start the reverse engineering process. Want to find out more? Check out the video Reverse Engineering for Organic Shapes. And for a more comprehensive training, take a look at the basic training Zeiss Reverse Engineering. You'll find the link in the description below.